Economic value added, or EVA, is a measure of economic profit. It's based on the idea that real value is only created when returns are generated above the required rate of return. Projects that create value must earn a rate of return above their cost of capital. Let's look closer at the EVA formula. It's equal to net operating profit after taxes, or NOPAT, which is essentially the unlevered net income of the business, minus the finance charge. And the finance charge is equal to the weighted average cost of capital multiplied by the amount of capital that was invested. If that sounds like a lot, we're going to dig into each of these in more detail so you have a thorough understanding of each component. Let's start by looking at NOPAT, net operating profit after taxes. It's equal to operating profit, which is EBIT, or earnings before interest and taxes, multiplied by 1 minus the tax rate. So the logic here is that we're calculating what the net income or the net profit of the business would be if it did not have any interest expense to deduct. So there's going to be a higher tax bill, but no interest expense. So net net, no patch should be slightly higher than regular net income. So now that we know what no pat is, let's move on and look at the finance charge, the second part of the formula. The finance charge represents the required rate of return for investors in the business. So it looks at how much capital the business has invested and multiplies it by the weighted average cost of capital. WAC, as a quick refresher, is based on the proportion of equity and debt that a company has and the cost of each of those types of capital. For a full refresher on WAC, please see any of our free guides and tutorials on weighted average cost of capital. There are plenty on our YouTube channel and in our courses. Finally, we can assemble everything to get economic value added. Economic value added is the NOPAT minus the finance charge, which is the WAC times the capital invested. Let's look at an example to pull it all together and hopefully it'll become clear. Let's look at this company. If we start with the capital that it has invested at the beginning of each year and multiply that by the weighted average cost of capital, which is the required rate of return, and in this case we're calling it the finance charge, that's the minimum amount that the company has to generate to satisfy investors. Below that section of the table, we have NOPAT, the net operating profit after taxes. And as long as NOPAT is greater than the finance charge, the company is generating economic value. If NOPAT is less than the finance charge or required rate of return, it is destroying economic value. So we can see here, we simply take the difference between NOPAT and the finance charge to see the economic value added per year. Thank you for joining us for this tutorial on EVA.